All right, folks, today we are making this amazing looking traditional East German pork spit roast. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Let's get started with today's seasoning. You will need two spoons of salt, one spoon of freshly ground pepper and marjoram. Really a huge amount of dried marjoram. Give it a good mix and set aside so we can concentrate on the pork roast. Today's traditional dish from Eastern Germany, the former GDR, is usually served or prepared with pork shoulder or pork neck. I prefer pork neck. It has a nice fat ratio and it's really, really cool for this kind of dish. Cut this into bigger dices, about 6 to 8 centimeters per side or the size of approximately one fist. With a roast of that size, this makes six pieces. And now cover the pieces completely with the seasoning. And of course, as always, you will find the whole list of ingredients and measurements inside the video description. Make sure to check it out. The traditional name for today's dish is Mutsbraten, which comes from the German word, which more is a local slang, Muts, which means animal without a tail, which means pork, and Braten, which means roast. After covering your Mutsbraten with all those spices, place it in a bowl or somewhere to keep it in the refrigerator for 24 hours minimum. After 12 hours, flip it. This dish is traditionally grilled over an open fire with a spit roast grill. We are not able to prepare this open fire thing today with a special grill, so I decided to put this on my gas grill. The outdoor chef, Dual Chef, really has a nice setup for preparing things on a spit roast or more or less on a basket, which will allow you to use the technique of a spit roast. But I'll show you later. First, put in the divider between the two chambers and then the setup for the spit or rotisserie kit, which is available at outdoorchef.com or .de, I guess. It's a Swiss grill and it's awesome. This is the grill basket, which can be used as a spit roast, but without using it as a spit. It's perfect for the amount of pork we prepared today. Just place those pieces and then you will be able to close the roast from the other side. All in all, this one is really flexible and it allows you to even use it for bigger pieces than these tiny pork roast pieces. It's really amazing and really interesting technique. Now place that spit roast or grill basket on your gas grill. We are headed for a grilling temperature of 160 to 180 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Place it inside that, start the rotisserie thing and then keep going. Close the lid and that's all you have to know and have to do for the pork. This is how your pork pieces look after 25 minutes. Really starts to get an interesting crust. In the meantime, it's enough time to prepare the sides. You will need a pan over the blazing zone, heat up some butter lard and start with white onions. Medium sized onion cut in half, cut in rings and after 5 or 6 minutes add sauerkraut. Give it a good mix again, reduce the heat to minimum of the blazing zone and keep on simmering for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes add a decent amount of beer, give it a good mix again and some beef stock, approximately the same amount. Talking about German mustard, we are using the Marder mustard today, which is a hot mustard. So take one spoon and add it to your sauerkraut for a great kick. I already pre-cooked some waxy potatoes and I just smashed these and mixed it with the sauerkraut. Don't forget to season with salt and pepper and most important thing is nutmeg freshly grind, grounded nutmeg. I really like the ratio of potato and sauerkraut here. Keep warm. After 45 minutes, your pork is done. 
looks amazing it's so juicy and you he you really see the crust outside and you have that interesting pieces with the seasoning where the pork pieces are close to each other and this really makes a difference in flavor and taste it's awesome grilling great pork can be so easy believe it or not Here's one of those pieces. You can see that now crusty and juicy and full of moist. Delicious way of making pork. Cut into slices and then plate it up. Just start with a plate and the mixture of potato and sauerkraut, which will also taste even better the day after this day you heat it up again one day or two days later it's amazing here is my final result of these traditional east german pork roast served with sauerkraut mashed potatoes can't wait to hear your thoughts about that of course as always i'm gonna give this a shot right now please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet i would really appreciate your help and your support here i love dishes like this anyway <laughs> so good thanks for watching i'm out see you